What's going on, everyone? Turn the music down so I won't get copyright. Got a 2017 Acura MDX, fairly new Acura MDX vehicle uh, model. Basically, all of the dash lights are on and the vehicle stalled while it was uh, traveling on the highway. So that's basically what's going on here. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to do a quick troubleshoot. Commonly when you're driving and all your lights come on is either wheel speed sensor, loose connection, uh, such as ground or battery. Especially if your vehicle hasn't really displayed any issues beforehand. It just drove fine. And out of nowhere, it just happened to go Christmas tree on you. <laughs> and we're going to take a quick inspection and then we're gonna proceed with um, trying to find a solution. So stay tuned and sorry about the light, but I'm in my truck, so. All right guys, as you can see, Big old Tundra is here to save the day. Yes, sir. We are gonna save this MDX. Just to show you guys real quick, the issue, put on the brake, start. Okay. This is the issue, as you can see, collision, mitigation, system problem, road departure, mitigation, system problem. We got these other Christmas lights on, maintenance system that's on. We'll go ahead and turn this bad boy off. Pop the hood. Pop this hood. And we're gonna get ready to take this. I guess you can say broth or brawl. That's what they usually call these things. Engine covers, broth, brawl. This is already loose. So what was holding this up? Uh, let's pop, pop, pop. Okay. Now, there we go. Okay, so this bad boy needs to be removed. Remove these two screws and pull this out of here. Cool. So this basically just funnels the air through. Boom, boom, boom. But what I also want to do is check the fuse box here. And the primary fuse that you want to check is the fusible link. That bad boy right there. You want to check that one to see if if that fusible link is a link that's blown, that can definitely be the cause. So I'm gonna try that first. And that fusible link is BSA. So if you can see the top left, you see a 40 amp and then a 20, 20 amp. So that's the usual one that will uh, blow. Got our emergency roadside tools stand for my camera and we're gonna rock and roll gonna get this intake cover on first don't lose any of these screws but i do see a lot of corrosion now definitely see a lot of corrosion on the battery hmm do i have anything to clean it I highly doubt I do. I highly doubt that I do. But none of the terminals are loose, but there's a lot of corrosion on here that I wasn't able to see before. The positive terminal has a lot of battery corrosion deep down underneath that definitely can cause intermittent issues. Uh, let's see, can I peek at the fuses? Fusible link. Are these fusible links good or bad? That's the question. I might have to take it out. Just wanted to show you guys real quick what the Acura MDX battery looks like. So first and foremost, it's a 12 volt FLA battery. And as you can see, we got a lot of corrosion here. On the positive terminal, negative terminal was okay. It's got some, you know, filth there. Disconnecting the battery. I'm gonna look at 
this fusible link and I'm going to see if I can clean this battery terminal. I don't have my battery terminal uh, cleaner, but I'll, I'll double check. I, I do have another tool bag on me, um, so I'll double check, but I honestly believe my uh, battery cleaner terminal is at home. So the thing that I found is that it's got this fuse here on a positive terminal. So just looking at it, it appears to be um, not broken. But, you know, it is late, so my eyes could be, you know, deceiving me. It looks like it's a good fuse. So, I'm not going to stress that one out, but definitely remove this battery terminal, get it clean, look at the fusible link, and plug everything back together. I just want to uh, I'll just make sure I'm following the correct steps. So, just a cover top to the battery, and this right here actually a fan it's a fan that blows air throughout the case of this uh battery case technically this is basically providing power to it so that's all this is it's nothing special it's just a battery case fan so this doesn't get actually get replaced it stays with it basically what you do is you remove your terminals uh you remove this here and this hook here and pull this hole bracket off you take this box which is a cover to keep it nice and clean and beautiful you take that off um, and then you have access for access to your batteries which this type of battery it has the uh, flaps the hand uh, carrying flaps you know two two handles on each side so it's one handle here one handle here which basically flaps down so you just flap them up pick it up move it out the way and drop your new battery this stuff is like caked on here uh, if I tap it, you can kind of see it coming off. So I might be okay. I might be okay. What I'm going to do is try to see if I can find something. I'm push this thing off. Right, try to find something that I can just clean this dirt off. Um, hmm. Again, the battery's disconnected. Go ahead and remove this fusible link. Feasible light is good. Just go ahead and reinstall. Push down one end, snap in. Because of low battery and potentially corrosion. Back on. Got the positive terminal on. And I'm gonna just uh, eventually come back and replace it. Yeah, this one did spark. Yeah. I'm never prepared for it, tell you that for a fact. It'll move, it'll drive. But it's just got all this Christmas lights on. here just the way it was before honestly believe it displayed the message and I should have showed you guys but I was too busy uh, trying to figure out how to get this dang one <clears throat> radio to work as you can see the lights are off all lights are off Turn this thing off, press the button. You don't need to put your foot on the brake. Okay, so it's off. Put my foot on the brake and start. And there you go, lights went off. I'm very, very much going to say the battery may still be okay. It may still be okay. That crevices of corrosion around the positive terminal may have caused the battery to drain some, which it starved other sensors and other functions of this vehicle. 
honestly if i took the battery cover off i would be able to determine how old the battery is i'm probably going to just let her start up in the morning and see exactly if that may have resolved the issue by cleaning the battery terminals. If not, then we'll proceed with replacing the battery. I can't really state exactly if that's the original battery or if it's if it's been replaced. I want to somewhat say it's been replaced. You don't know until you actually take the battery off. Take that cover off and actually look at the battery to see how old it is. But so far, you know, this is where we're at. No issues thus far. So we're just gonna put everything back together while the car is still running. And I'm gonna come back and turn it off and then turn it back on and take it from there. There are baby mosquitoes. I'm messing with the wrong guy, the wrong one. I'm gonna mess with him and get him. Hey, the mosquitoes gonna mess around and get, get smacked. Oh, who would have known? Oh, there we go. Up. Got a normal screen here. Some gas. So what I'm gonna do is turn it off. She's off. Put my foot on the brake, and we're gonna start it up again. Foot off the brake. And there we go. Steering. Everything works. Let's see how it beams. <laughs> Everything works. So the issue was the battery. Corrosion caused some issues with the battery, which basically uh, produced low voltage. Caused uh, all the Christmas trees on the dash, and also caused for the vehicle to stall, which she was able to limp it here. And now true test is tomorrow thus far i mean if tomorrow if it goes back to the same issue then replace the battery and you're on your merry way don't forget guys to like comment and subscribe to my channel peace